<laughs> Come here. Hi there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my latest Poundland haul. If you're not familiar with my channel, <laughs> I'm a mummy vlogger, shock seeing as he's here, tired. Yeah. I am a mummy vlogger, I have one son called Leo who you can see behind me here and I upload videos a few times a week on motherhood, cleaning, family life, um, shopping, that kind of thing so if you subscribe before you leave I'd really appreciate that. <coughs> this Poundland haul is a collaboration with the lovely, oh my goodness sorry, he's playing with my old tripod. If you're a subscriber you'll be familiar with the fact that he is usually in the background in my hauls and things so apologies for that. Yes, this is a collaboration with the lovely Daniela Hodgson. Um, that's her YouTube name, or you might know her as Daniela Vlogs on Instagram. I'm going to link her channel below. She has also done a Poundland haul, so make sure you check hers out as well. So I sort of challenged myself with this Poundland haul to just spend £10 and see really what... Yes! and see what the best things I could find was. So I got lots of different things. Um, I got lots of good things for my son. They have great things for kids in Poundland. So I might show you actually what I got him first because then that'll keep him nice and busy. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is something I got for Leo and I'm showing it to, them to him right now because I'm hoping they're gonna keep him quiet, which is this pack of foam letters, bath time letters. So he loves, we have some foam sort of toys in the bath and he loves sticking them to the surfaces in the bath. So I saw this and I thought he'd love these. They come in all sorts of different colors. Obviously they're letters. He's really young to be thinking about letters. He'll just think that they're nice shapes, but you get 26 letters for a pound. So I thought that was really good value and you can play with them now. Here you go. I find he gets a little bit bored of his bath toys, uh, so yes, a new bath toy always goes down well. Hopefully this will keep him quiet. Just spread them out on the floor, a little distraction, there you go. Okay, so they also had another similar bath time toy, obviously a pound, do I have to keep saying that? Should we just assume everything's a pound? Even though some things in pound land aren't a pound, which I always think is a bit annoying. You see something and you think, oh my god, that's a pound, and then underneath it says like five pounds. This is a foam mirror. Let's have a look, which is really cool. You could stick that on the side of your bath, and they can have a look at it. <gasps> Go and look at that. Wow. So yeah, lots of new things for the bath. I'm going to continue on the baby theme, seeing as we're on it. Now, I'm excited about this one. They had lots... <laughs> move your head. Stand over here. They had lots of sticker books in there. Now, he's never had stickers before, so this is going to be a first, but I think he's going to love it. So this is an Avengers one. It's called Sticker Play, and it's just full of stickers and pictures and things. So, let's see what he thinks. What do you think of the stickers? <laughs> You're not sure? Here, come and look at your new book. So it's just something new for him to see. He's not sure they're sticking to his fingers. He's like, eh. But yeah, I just thought I'd get him some stickers and a fun little book. Obviously, if your child's older than mine, then <laughs> they'd get more fun out of that. I thought it was really good for a pound. Also got him this. This is a giant colouring activity poster. So I assume, oh it says on the back, it's a metre by 70 centimetres big, so it's pretty big, it's just a huge colouring picture, and it comes with 12 crayons. I did pick him up a pack of felt tips, and then I kind of put them back and thought, what am I doing? Um, just had visions of the felt tips on the sofas, and I think crayons are the way to go with toddlers. So this is something new for him as well, so we'll give this a go. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll be sure to let you know what he thinks of this. Now, my son is obsessed with bananas, and he loves yoghurt as well, and Poundan's really good at selling like healthy little snack bags, lots of yo yoghurt coated fruits and things like that, and they had yoghurt coated banana chips. Um, I've heard of the yoghurt coated raisins and peanuts and all that, but I hadn't seen yoghurt coated banana chips before. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, he'll love those. So it's quite a lot in a bag for a pound. That'll last quite a while and it's resealable as well. The brand is Whitworth's. They do lots of little snacks like this. So yeah, if you're looking for sort of an alternative to a, to a snack for your child or for you, 
I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty nice. Is that one? He's munching on one. Yeah, give them a go. Try them out. Okay, cleaning. Obviously, I always get lots of cleaning stuff in my Poundland hauls. I got, so I'm really in need of Vanish. They did have Vanish there, but like I said earlier, it's one of those annoying items where it's in Poundland, but it was actually five pounds. But they did have an alternative, which is the Astonish fabric stain remover. It looks just like Vanish. It's one scoop in the wash, so it sounds the same as Vanish, um, but it was a pound. I don't know if it's going to work as well as Vanish. Vanish is very, very good. So we'll see. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram again, I'll let you guys know about this one because I haven't used this one before. But if it works, then that's, that's a right bargain for a pound. It is, isn't it? I also normally get my um, Windeline glass mirror surface wipes from Poundland. Um, you will have seen them in my cleaning videos if you're a subscriber. They didn't have any, which I was horrified about. But they did have these, which are an alternative, the Mr. Valet glass wipes. They claim to leave no smears on mirrors and windows. So I'll give these a go. Hopefully they're just as good. They're also great for the TV. If your toddler is anything like mine, he loves to get his grubby little fingers all over the TV. So yeah, hopefully this will get rid of that. So I've been looking, <laughs> I've been looking for some bathroom storage for like the corner of my bath where I keep all of my son's shampoos and body washes and all those things. And they actually had one in there for a pound, which I couldn't believe. So it's a little unit like this that just sucks onto the tiles. Clutter-free shower organizer. So I'm just gonna stick this in the corner of my bath and hopefully it'll just tidy it up a little bit. I couldn't believe that was a pound. I really was looking for one that was like a corner unit, but it was a pound, so I'm willing to give it a go. Also, I was queuing up to leave and I saw these. They often have good things, you know, when you're queuing up to pay. They have good things there. No, absolute demolition, baby. They often have good things um, when you're queuing up to pay, like in that area, and they had umbrellas, a pound for an umbrella, and it's a leopard print one, which is very on trend. Obviously, the weather has taken a slight turn for the worse at the moment. We are getting some showers after that lovely, lovely sunny weather. So yeah, I was really happy with that. One pound, I'll just keep that in my bag or in the car, and it's there if you need it. So my last thing, now don't judge me, <laughs> but obviously I'm in Poundland, I'm gonna get myself some chocolate, I'm a choc a holic and they sell a lot of chocolate for a pound. I did get myself a pack of one of my favourite bars of chocolate which is a double decker. This is slightly embarrassing because it's empty. Let me just give a little bit of a backstory on this before you judge me too much. I went to Poundland on Tuesday and it's now Friday doesn't sound very long does it but in that time I knew they were in the bag I couldn't I couldn't not eat them they've gone <coughs> but there were four in here and they were delicious so guys there it is there is my latest what month is it September Poundland haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Get yourself down to Poundland to get some bargains. Don't forget that this is a collaboration with Daniela Hodgson. So go into my um, description box to watch her haul as well. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and we'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>